I'm Dr. Jennifer Taylor. I'm a biology instructor at the South Carolina Governor's School for Science and Math. And today, these are the advanced genetics elective students, and they are learning about C. elegans. C. elegans are normally a model organism used in university research labs for either neuroscience, cell biology, or genetic studies. And we're doing a three-day experiment where the students are gonna learn about genetic linkage. And in this first day, the students are just becoming familiar with the worms. They are learning to move them from one plate to another on a toothpick so they can do their own crosses. They're gonna to learn to identify the two different genders, as well as looking at some mutants. And one type of mutant are called uncoordinated, they don't move very well. And the other mutant we have are called dumpy, that are both short and fat, and so they have a different appearance than a normal one. So the students are getting familiar with those, they're really excited to see them and get to learn to move them around. And in the next class, what they're going to do is actually cross some of the normal worms to some mutants. And then we'll look at the progeny of those worms to learn if two genes for dumpy and unk are on the same chromosome or on different chromosomes. So I'm really excited about this experiment, which is new, that the students will get to analyze their own data to learn about genetic linkage. I liked that we got to cross different nematodes and see and determine which genes were dominant or recessive. I liked the fact that it was really hands on and we got to see the results. Yeah, um, I thought it was like everything that we're talking about in the last and we get to see it right there. Uh, it was cool to be able to get hands on experience of like making the crosses and gathering the data and seeing like what we learned in class actually like happening in the lab. It was really cool that we got to breed them ourselves and to see how exactly these genes are related to one another. Um, I guess the analysis of like the actual genetics and their uh, distribution amongst the population of the sea elephants. I liked uh, watching the worms grow and being able to do this and then all the way to getting like real genetics. Well, one of the things I really like about this is that we're actually working with real live worms, so it's not like we're just analyzing numbers from a slide, we're actually physically counting them ourselves, so it's a lot more physical experience. <laughs> 